fly is very good for represent any of the Cardus larvae swim to the surface ready for hatching. Uh, what you need to tie the fly is a, obviously add a wee bit of weight to it so that you can get it below the surface and put a bit of movement, help put a bit of movement into it because you get a bit of resistance with the weight but on the hook. Uh, just flicking the tip of the rod and allowing the nymph to sort of, sort of dance or swim its way up towards the surface. I right, encourage that movement encourages you to actually or encourage the fish to take. Uh, but anyway, this is the lead foil I'm going to be using. The sticky back. It's the first thing I use on the fly. Um, I'm going to tie in a size 10, quite a good size hook here, but this will allow you to see what I'm doing. Uh, it's a Camasan B110. And where I cut the material is simply just a large pair of scissors. I'm looking for maybe a 2mm strip. Just cut a length. Off the tape, and then you just simply peel away the backing, and then you see it coming away. Once it starts to come away, just take it away altogether. Now, depending on how deep you want your, your nymph to actually go down, you could put a couple of layers of this on, but I only need one layer. I simply start at the back, wind it up the body with the shank of the hook. Right to the top, you simply break it off. There's enough one there, another two or three flies. So that's all we need just now for this. Thread, I mean, it's I liked uh, orange a lot. I use a lot of orange on some of these flies, orange, yellow, just at the head, especially when the caddis is coming off. It's sometimes it's slightly brighter. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, monocord. It's a three-o thread. It's quite thick. You just simply cover the lead up, touch and turns, all the way around. Just take your time to this point here and trim away the waste. Now I'm going to rub this fly with a, this is a polythene rib. You can buy it like this now. Strips of polythene, plastic. You could use a pearl rib or something like this, but on this one, this will help represent the, sh the, the body of the fly. Just simply tie it on the side and secure it in. Just now what I'm doing here is just forming a nice shape. That's your body length to there. It's your thorax. Okay, bring this down. Ready for your dubbing. Now there's a few dubbins in the market. One of my favourite is just uh, this is a, an adult seals. It's very good adult seals. Uh, it's one I prefer. You get it the natural colours, this sort of champagne colour here, or beige. Uh, in this case, what I'm going to be tying with is um, I think the orange just to show you that, but I'm going to be using the dark brown, or medium to dark brown anyway. Okay, so just take some of it off. There's a couple of ways you can actually put this on. Now, the monocord is a flat thread. What you can actually do is split it. You anti-clockwise spin the bobbin. This flattens the thread out. And then all you there do then is get a double needle. And then just split it in half. Just like that. It's very easy to do. Obviously you need good eyesight. And it's just a matter of putting the dubbin in. This material is very light and airy. Uh, it's excellent for trapping bubbles. Dries quick. Very good for dry flies. It's actually excellent for dry flies. But once you put that on, I do slide up the material as close to the shank of the hook as I can. And then it's just a matter of spinning it back clockwise. Just spin the bobbin clockwise. Once it tightens up, you feel it tighten up at your finger first. And then once you do that, you just push the thread turns into the actual the dummy. As you can see, tightens up. Bring your bobbin up. And then you can slightly stretch it out. When you put more turns in you can spin the thread itself all the way up. Forming your body. Okay. Now there's almost an excess there. 
so she can take away. Break it off. She'll do it just now. And once you're happy, you can stop. But just now, I'm just. Don't throw away the stuff, just set it back on your desk for your next fly. Then it's simply then bringing your rib up through, which will trap a few fibres, but that's what you want. Okay, just wind it up. Nice and tight. And then catch it in. You see, this is a simple dress and it's nothing fancy. You just have to use the right colour combination to suit the caddis that's actually coming off. For the legs, I'm going to use just a brown partridge. Brown partridge hackles there. Leg length, I mean, you, I like it to come right towards the back of the hook. Uh, it looks better, swims better, more enticing to the fish. You can have them shorter, it's up to yourself. But I, I like to like them quite long. And here's a feather already prepared. They have to tie them in by the tip. You only need a, a turn and a half or so. Uh, you don't need a lot of fibre to represent the legs. Just simply catch it on. I like to fold the tip back, this locks it in. Just draw a wee point. Yeah, do this by hand if you want, which I'm going to be doing. I say you only need a turn. Plenty. Don't want to overdress the fly. Catch it down. And then the simplest thing you can do really is just then put a peacock head over the head. Now I'm using this is a hair that's been dyed orange. When it's wet it really looks good. You get a nice bronze effect off the fiber. I've got two fibres here. Simply catch it on the side. Run your thread down. Break these away. Now, if you want it to be really, well, to make it last anyway, the best thing you can do is just to get some varnish or fine super glue. Just lick the thorax. Just wind your hair all over the top. Take your time, winding down. It lasts a lot longer if you do this. Put a point there. Cross your thread. One, two. Bring these back. Bring your thread back up. It's just tucking them in. Okay. What I like to do before I do anything else here is keep the thread tight. Get straight in the whip finish. thread away and break these off if you want or just get into the edge of the scissors and that's really it now all you have to do is wee bit of varnish onto the head and that's that'll be the finished fly very simple dressing just too much on there The excess. And there you are. Just a simple caddis pattern. Do them right down to the smaller sizes you can tie. And the caddis come off the water in all sizes, shapes, colours. That's your 